talk about expensive and precious items from Indian history, the one name that often comes to our minds is Kohinoor Diamond. But what if I tell you that there was an artifact that Kohinoor Diamond was just a small part of? Yes, I'm talking about the Peacock Throne, also known as Takte Taws or Mayurasan. Imagine a throne made of more than 1000 kilos of gold and 230 kilos of precious gemstones and Kohinoor was just a small part of it. But after Aurangzeb was defeated by the Persian Emperor Nadir Shah, the peacock throne was taken to Persia. After Nadir Shah was killed by his own officers, Kurdish tribesmen demolished the throne and the jewels were taken to different parts of Middle East. Today, the different jewels of the peacock throne could be spread all across the world. Hello and welcome to yet another edition of 5 to Shine. I'm Shrenu Parekh and without wasting any more time, let's meet our today's two shining stars. Before we get started, let's meet today's two shining stars. Welcome, my pretty girls. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Hi, my name is Diyaja. I am 12 years old and I am from Mumbai. And my hometown is Bihar. Oh, wow, you're from Bihar. Yes. That is nice, Diya. What do you like about Bihar the most? Bihar is most famous for Madhubani art. Yes. And I am learning now that Madhubani art. It's very easy. Wow. It's made from poster colour and powder rice. Oh, wow, did you know this? It's, I didn't know. I mean, thank you so much for enlightening me. And uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Keisha Arora. I'm nine years old. I'm from Mumbai and my hometown is Punjab. Oh, wow. Bihar, Punjab. That is so nice and colourful. And I'm from Gujarat. Oh, wow. <laughs> Like on this table only, we have like a glimpse of India happening, right? Yes. Alright, so what do you like about Punjab that makes you feel proud? I love, uh, in the Punjab, there is famous in the dance, uh, Bhangra, Gidda and uh, Bolia and all that. Oh, wow, yes. Uh, of course, who doesn't know Bhangra? All of us do Bhangra, all of us play Garba, right? Yeah. So, yes, that's nice. Alright, so here's the thing, Keisha. Uh, if you win today, by the end of the episode, we'll do Bhangra. Okay, Alright? Done? Yes. And if you win, we'll do Garba. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started with our quiz. I'll tell you the rules, girls, uh, so that the quiz is simple for you. I'll be asking you five questions, alright? And uh, if you know the answer, without wasting a second, just press the buzzer. Okay. Alright? Yes. Whoever presses the buzzer first gets the chance to answer. Okay. If you answer wrong, then the question passes on to the other contestant. Alright? Yes. By the end of the five question, whoever has scored the highest wins an exciting reward. <laughs> right? And whoever loses, we have something for them also. Punishment. Very smart. She started answering from now only. Yes, we have a punishment. But what is the punishment? Yes. What is the punishment? Alright, I will tell you what is the punishment for the day. First of all, do you guys like milk? Yeah, I yes. Like. I didn't like but my mother gave it to me. Yes, because obviously milk is very healthy for each one of us, right? So yes. then it shouldn't be too difficult because today's punishment is you have to drink a full glass of milk. Okay, so then this punishment is very easy. But the catch is you have to finish this big glass of milk in less than a minute. Now you see the difficulty. Alright. So that's your punishment. <laughs> this is so that you focus more on the quiz. Yes. And try to win it, alright? Yes. yes. Are you guys excited? Yes. yes. <laughs> Perfect. All the very best. May the best one win. And let's start the quiz. Okay girls, all the best. Your first question is, 
who wrote Natya Shastra? Your options are Bharat Muni, B. Dharamveer Bharti, C. Mahadevi Prasad, or D. Balashankar. That was a tie, but I think Keisha pressed the buzzer pehle. All right, tell me. So answer is Bharata Muni. Yes, that is the correct answer. Bharat Muni is the right answer. Natya Shastra is the Indian equivalent of the poetics by Greek philosopher Aristotle. It covers the classical Indian arts of drama, dance and music and is the basis for Indian performing arts. All right, so account khul chuka hai. Congratulations. Uh, the score is 1-0. Remember, huge glass of milk you have to finish in one minute. All right, so buckle up. The next question is, which of these is a renowned Kathak dancer? Your options are A. Pandit Birju Maharaj B. Yamini Krishnamurti C. Brinalini Sarabhai and D. Kartikeya Sastri You press the buzzer first. A. Birju Maharaj Yes, that is the correct answer, Pandit Birju Maharaj. Brij Mohan Nath Mishra, also known as Pandit Birju Maharaj, is one of the most popular exponents of Kathak, who was awarded India's second highest civilian honour, the Padma Vibhushan, in 1986. Apart from elevating the dance form, Kathak, he also choreographed songs from popular films like Devdas, Baji Rao Mastani and Kalang. Who doesn't know, right? All right. So the score is now? 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Yes. So, one. yes, the competition is neck to neck and the punishment is also neck to neck. Mm -hmm. All right. So now you guys have to choose if you want to win the prize or the punishment. Here comes the next question. The famous Hornbill Festival is celebrated in which of the following states of India? Your options are A. Nagaland B. Mizoram C. Assam or D. Meghalaya You Nagaland A. 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 That is the correct answer. Nagaland is the correct answer. The Hornbill Festival, named after the popular bird, is a festival that celebrates agricultural season and is referred to as the festival of festival. This is the festival that brings all the native tribes of Nagaland together. All right! <laughs> so that was our third question and the score is 2-1. You are closer to the glass of milk. We don't have anything else. It's not hot chocolate, okay? So, buckle up, you have to win this. Alright, so moving on to the fourth question. Parsi embroidery sarees are also called as? Your options are A. Gara Sari B. Banarasi Sari C. Patola Sari or D. Chanderi Sari Alright, Kisha. So answer is A. Gara Sari. That is the correct answer. I think even you knew the answer, right? Yes, Gara Sari is the right answer. When the Parsis travel from India to China to trade goods, they would often carry cotton and opium to trade for tea. But on one of the trips, they brought back a special kind of floral embroidery that caught the attention of the Parsis. That taste for this fabric developed and eventually evolved into this Gara Sari. Before we move ahead, it's time for Prodigy Talks. Pro Talks. Let's talk about Prodigy's concept. They paint for 24 hours straight. Whatever the skill, the prodigious child has an intense drive to master it and is found performing during all their spare time without prodding. If your child shows the above signs, do all you can to nurture and support them. If they don't, 
applaud the wonderful accomplishments they will undoubtedly still have. All right, so that was our fourth question. And what are the scores? Two and two. Oh my God! Like now, I am nervous and excited for you guys. It could be anything. It's a tie. Yeah. Either of you can win or lose. All right. So this last question is the decision maker of today's quiz. All right. Just try to focus and concentrate. All right. All the very best. Okay. The last question is. Me da me fai. This festival is festival of which communities in North Eastern India? Your options are A. Thai Ahom, B. Diori tribe, C. Garo, or D. Khasi. A. Thai Ahom. Thai Ahom is the right answer. The Thai Ahom. People residing in Assam and Arunachal Pradesh celebrate Mida Mifai every year to pray and make offerings to their ancestors. All right, with this we come to an end to today's Five to Shine, and our clear winner is Diya. Let's clap for her. Congratulations. As for our rules. You win today, so you get this beautiful reward that is very well earned. Congratulations! Thank you. All right. As per our rules, the winner gets the reward and the loser gets the punishment. But thankfully, you like milk, but you have to finish the milk in less than a minute. All right, so. My stopwatch, okay, and this is the glass of milk that you have to finish. There you go. But my tongue is very full. <laughs> then it's even better. You will take more time to finish it. Anyway, so your time starts now. Isha, 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 Isha. Very good. And those of you watching this at home, don't forget that you too can play some interactive games from home. All you have to do is follow our Instagram handle and get started. You can find the link in the description box. That's it for today. We will be back with another contest, new contestants, five exciting questions, and one fun-filled punishment. This is Shreno Parekh saying goodbye. Pew, 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 pew.